What's going on everybody? It's your boy Joseph Snyder, aka the Spotty Monkey, coming back at your brand new YouTube video. It's been a long time since we've been at this gym. This has been a long time since we've been at this dojo. So, we're going to come back with a video. I'm super excited. We're going to go over the top three jujitsu drills that you need to know to be better at jujitsu. Yes. These are three of my favorites, the ones that actually personally help me in my matches to where I can do very good on my own and helps me get out of sticky situations, especially when you're sweaty. Actually, those are slippery situations. But you know what I mean. So let's get right into it. So the first one is the, uh, I'll come over here, is the shrimp. Also a snake, he depends on where you're at. Um, the shrimp is super basic, super simple. We're gonna go over the normal shrimp in the forward shrimp. Now, the normal shrimp is you're gonna bring balls of your feet as close to your butt as possible. Now, there's a couple ways you can do these. The best way is pushing your hips up, getting on your shoulder, and pushing with the balls of your feet outwards to make kind of a 90 degree angle with your body. Then as soon as you're done, bring back on your back, bring your balls of your feet straight to your butt. Push up with your hips, get on your shoulder, and push away. Make sure, make sure yourself, make yourself a 90 degree angle. Do this one more time. So the normal shrimp, super basic, super easy. One of the easiest ones to learn off of video. So you're gonna get balls of your feet, place them as close to your butt as possible. Now if you, I don't know if you guys noticed, but my butt. So this is with flat, further away. Right here, it elevates my hips off the floor. So that's what I'm using to push my hips into the sky. Now this helps when you're in side control, push your hips to the sky, get on your one shoulder, and push your hips down with the balls of your feet. So you're kind of extending your legs as you're moving your, your hips outwards. So, as soon as you're done with that, you're gonna be at your 90 degree angle, you're gonna recoil back, back to the same spot. Now, instead of going the one direction, you're gonna push up, go on your shoulder, and push out the other direction. Now, this one takes practice, so if you don't get on your first try, that's completely okay. So, we're back here. We're gonna be going over the four shrimps. Now, the four shrimps are super simple, but it takes a little bit more abs and a little bit more force with them. So, we're here. We're going back. We're gonna turn to our side. Try to put your feet out. Either use the tips of your toes or the heels. I prefer to use my heels to drag me in. That's just personal preference. So as soon as you're here, you can grab your hands together or you can leave them be because your feet is what's going to be elevating you as with your hands are going to be your mo. It's going to be your motion to go upwards to bring, try to think of the word that's on the tip of my tongue. I don't know, but I'll find out later. So basically, you're gonna either close your hands or keep them open. It's gonna be like a sandbag you're throwing over your shoulder because it's super, super heavy. So you're here. As you lift your hips, throw and pull with your feet. So as you see again, I'm here on my side. My feet out or out. I'm gonna close my hands together just for another reference. I'm gonna throw and as I'm pulling my hips forward, my hands are above my head and I can get back. Now you can do it on both sides the same way. Grab, extend your feet, and pull. And you just move forward. So the forward shrimp, back and shrimp, super easy. Those are the two easiest that you should know, especially if you just started or if you're wanting to start. So we're gonna go over one more. Now we're gonna be going over the break fall tactical get up. So if you don't know what a break fall is, we'll just go into a small extent of what a break fall is. I'm just gonna do it from sitting. Technically, the break fall would be from standing. So if I'm here, break fall. But just to make it easier on you guys, I'm just gonna do it from sitting here. The break fall is basically a way where you can land without hitting your head on the mat. Now there's just a couple techniques, to, there's a couple of things that you need to know this for. This is one to really get down good. You cannot break the, your fall by having your hands by your hips. It has to be the same width with your shoulders. So where your shoulders are or where your hands should be. 
So if I'm all the way up here, and break fall up here, that's just gonna hurt me even more. But the trick is to it is keeping your head tough as you fall down here. So from standing up and have your head tucked into your chin, your chin tucked into your chest, let me phrase that. And as you're going down, your arms will be right in line with your shoulders and your neck to keep it more supported. So we just finished learning how to do the break fall. Now we're gonna learn how to do the tactical get up bar. So we're gonna do the break fall here. There's a person right in front of you. You're gonna extend one foot, and that foot that is extended, you're gonna post with this arm. The foot that's extended. Your arm's gonna be posted on the same side. Now the one foot that is gonna be helping you push yourself up is gonna be the hand you're gonna be extending. Because you don't, you don't want that person running to you. If you have your hand here, and you're just trying to do your tactical get up, you're going to get absolutely slammed. But you're going to have your hand out. Like, no, no, you're not allowed to come. You're gonna, this foot, your left foot, is going to post on the ground. You're going to lift yourself up with your hips and your arm at the same time. So it's going to go up. This leg that is extended, it's going to come back to where your hand is. Make sure you need to keep a good base to defend your defensive stance. Which can be wide or it can come out like kind of sideways. You've got to have a good stance. So if they're still trying to get into you, they will not be able to push you over. So we're going to do it one more time. Brick ball. Here. Extend one foot. Extend one hand. Push with the one foot. Push with your one hand. Push yourself upwards. Bring your foot back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Keep that arm extended. And you're back up. So this really, this really helps disengage in any fight in jujitsu. I love doing this one. So we're gonna do it one more time, but fully, fully, full pace. Thank y'all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Because you know what? These are things I don't like to teach things that have improved me personally. So hopefully this helps you guys, especially if you're new, if you've done it for a while, or if you've never done jujitsu before. Hopefully this helps you. But if you like this video, like and subscribe. I've already said all that stuff, but peace.